Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 235. We woke up in our room here at Coronado Springs and planned to work most of the day because it has pretty good Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. It is a brand new room here in Grand Casino Tower, so the Wi-Fi is a lot better than some of the other resorts. One of the first things we had to work on was a giveaway that we were running. Tonight we're doing our live Q&A on Facebook, and when we do, we wanted to give away a couple prizes to those who had the best questions. We're gonna pick our favorite questions, we're gonna put them into a drawing and choose from there to give away three prizes, the first one being a Madame Leota Funko Pop that we just got not too mm -hmm. long ago whenever they had the anniversary of Haunted Mansion, along with a Not So Scary Halloween Party Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card that's exclusive to the party mm -hmm. and a lot of people are trying to collect these. So we're including both of those as the grand prize and then our runners up will receive just the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card along with a regular pack of cards from the game. Once we got that giveaway all set up and announced, Alyssa set out working on some blog post stuff and I started working for our clients trying to get a website wrapped up and launched here in the next few days I worked on that pretty much the entire day we had a lot of great snacks from the Halloween party mm -hmm. so far between the candy and the allergy friendly stuff yeah. which had some really good things in there like those chewy bars or the trail mix we had plenty of snacks to munch on throughout the day I was really focused on creating a very big blog post about the Halloween party I not only included everything that there is to do and see, but also kind of a strategy of how to get the most out of the party. This was a ton of pictures, a ton of words. It took me all day long, but we did make sure to stop for lunch. We had leftovers from Shades of Green. So we headed down to the food court, walked down there, heated up our leftovers and had those for lunch before going back and continuing working the rest of the afternoon. Around late afternoon, we stopped working and we're gonna get ready for the Halloween party tonight. It is the third night of the Halloween party and our goal is to go to every single one and also possibly try and dress up. We're not sure we're gonna be able to pull this off. We only have a few costumes, so we basically have to make those costumes turn into other costumes mm -hmm. and get really creative with them. So I decided to try and put some pieces together and I was gonna dress up as Merida. I curled my hair into really tight curls. I had a sash on, I had a belt, and I put a cloak on. I thought it looked pretty good, honestly, for trying to like piece something together from our suitcases we have. But then the question became, what is Robert gonna dress up as? There aren't a ton of characters you can dress up as in Brave that we have stuff for. I mean, yeah. there's really great costumes, great characters, but we don't have a lot for them. Yeah, I don't have a kilt, <laughs> believe it or not. A kilt was not pack packed one. in my suitcase. It's ridiculous. Probably because I don't own one. We were really unprepared. So we tried to put something together, and lo and behold, in one of our suitcases, I had a scarf, and I was like, I bet we could put this together, and you could be one of the little brothers from Brave. Yep, because I have a scarf with paws. And I don't know why we have this. Please don't ask questions because I cannot answer them. But we found this and so Robert wore all black and he was one of the little bears. We opted not to take a picture together, however, like let's take a picture in front of the castle, it would look great. So we got everything we needed to be able to do the live stream tonight in the park from the Halloween party. We're gonna go all out and do it from there. Got on the bus and headed over to Magic Kingdom. We took pictures in front of the castle and then of course now we have to wait to get them because you never know when you're gonna get the pictures. Mm -hmm. And then we started looking for a place to do the live stream and everywhere we normally go was completely packed with people. It was crazy. For whatever reason, tonight is so busy in Magic Kingdom and so loud. No matter where we went, it was just not gonna work for us to do yeah. a live stream. So we finally opted to walk over by Tomorrowland Speedway, sit in one of the tables and hope for the best. When we got our table and sat down, we realized that it is way, way too hot to be wearing things like this <laughs> in the park. And a cloak. Because it's just way too hot in August for that. And honestly, it's probably too hot in October for that too. But yeah. not something we want to do in August. So we sat there, got ready for our Q&A, went live on Facebook and did about an hour of live Q&A, kind of showing the party going on behind us, but also answering all those questions coming in. And just like two years ago, we are gonna be doing a live Q&A tonight mm -hmm. here on YouTube, 
August 23rd, 2021. So excited to do another one of these about the last month, or I guess all the way up to this point in our year with the ears. We love doing these Q and A's because we look back at our old Q and A to kind of figure out where we were mentally and what all we were thinking at the time. And we answer those questions as best we can, like we would have two years ago. So we'll be doing that here on the channel at eight, seven central tonight. We hope to see you there. There's a post in the community mm -hmm. here on YouTube, linked in the description below that you can go and put your questions ahead of time. We'll prioritize all the questions mm -hmm. on that community post over the ones that come in on live chat. So we'll go through those first. And if there's any time left over, we'll catch the ones in live chat. Once the live stream was over, we started walking around. We're trying to do something different every single night, if possible, at the Halloween parties. So we walked around and headed over towards Tom Sawyer Island and Robert saw the coolest photo area. So he took a picture there and it turned out awesome. We kept walking around and I decided I really wanted some candy. So I went through one of the lines to get some tokens and then I went up towards the front to get some allergy friendly candy for me. On our way back up Main Street, we had to stop because Starbucks was completely empty. We have never seen an empty Starbucks mm -hmm. and this was probably the scariest thing at the Halloween mm -hmm. party, I have to be honest. It was really creepy, but it was kind of cool because we've never seen an empty Starbucks before. We kept walking over towards Tomorrowland and as we were entering Tomorrowland, the fireworks started going off from the show and we realized we had a really cool vantage point from where we were. So we stayed here and Robert took lots of pictures trying to capture the fireworks as they went up with the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party sign. And I think they turned out pretty good. And because the fireworks just ended, there's really not much in the way of people in Tomorrowland. It's mm -hmm. pretty empty. So we walked over to Stitch's meet and greet because we thought, well, there's probably not much of a line and there wasn't. We were the only ones going in mm -hmm. there. Elvis Stitch is the one you get to meet at the mm -hmm. Halloween party and it's really cool because you're dressed up and he's dressed up or I guess we are kind of dressed up at this <laughs> point we've taken a lot of our layers off but we went and saw Elvis Stitch and got a ton of pictures with him he's always a fun character to meet mm -hmm. no matter what but especially when he's dressed up because he likes to dance a little bit when he's dressed as Elvis this was such a fun meet and greet and we got to spend so much time with Stitch one-on-one -on -one because there was no one else waiting so the photo pass photographer took a ton of photos. We took some selfies with Stitch. It was just a lot of fun and he really, really liked his outfit. He spun around for us and we just had the best time talking to him. Then we walked over to Cosmic Rays to enjoy the Descend Dance Party. And this is a lot of fun. I know it's meant for kids, but I gotta say the DJ has some serious moves and we were really there to see him because he is really entertaining. He's a lot of fun. He keeps everyone involved and we just love watching this party and seeing how much fun everyone's having. I mean, we never get out there and dance with them, but we do enjoy watching everyone dance. It's just too hot to be out there dancing with everybody. After a few minutes there in the Descend Dance Party, we had to head back up to Main Street because the final Boo to You Halloween Parade is mm -hmm. coming through in just a couple minutes. We watched the parade there from the hub area and enjoyed seeing it. We love seeing this every time. Mm -hmm. The music is so catchy. It's one of our favorite parades. It's really good. And and then after the parade, we noticed that pretty much everyone was leaving, following the parade mm -hmm. out of the park. And we were like, you you still got time left in the party. I mean, we've been to a couple of them already. We've got a lot more to go to, so we may leave, but it's surprising to see regular party guests just leaving after the parade. If you're willing to stick around, you can actually see the final Hocus Pocus stage show there mm -hmm. at the front of the castle. And it's right after the parade's over and there's basically no one around. So you can get a really good seat without having to wait and stake mm -hmm. out a spot like you might have to for the earlier show. We opted to leave after the parade, however, because we have seen the show a couple times and we are exhausted. It is so hot tonight. We could not believe the humidity level. It was crazy. So we did head out and took the bus back to Coronado Springs. I kept refreshing the My Disney Experience app, hoping to get those photos. We actually never ended up getting the pictures from the night and because we opted not to take selfies, we have no pictures of our actual costumes that night, which is so disappointing because my hair basically went completely flat by the end of the night. I didn't even know my hair could get that curly the way I did it. I was so proud of that. I should have known the humidity was gonna ruin it, but I didn't. And so we have no photos, which is really disappointing, but we did have a wonderful time even still. And that was the end of our day today. So we'll see you tomorrow. For our year with the ears.